Hello everyone, Haley here, and this is my mare Primrose. Welcome back to HK Horsemanship. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually use treats to solve problems with your horse. So basically, Primrose here, her problem is that she has certain areas that she's more comfortable with than other areas. And there's actually many different ways you can solve this problem, one of which is just some um, basic like barn sour stuff where you work them really hard in the places where they like to be and take them to the more scary areas quote unquote and let it be a rest area. Um, I've done some of this with Prim before but I'm gonna actually try a method that's a little bit more of a positive reinforcement method. So I'm just gonna make the scary areas feel really really good and then I'm gonna take her back to the more comfortable areas and I'm just gonna have her do some groundwork with me and we're gonna be doing this on the ground first and then we're gonna transfer it to the saddle. Here, this is my treat pouch. And basically what I'm gonna do is when we get to the scary areas, I'm just gonna let her take a rest, have a deep sigh and just give her some treats and just make it feel really, really good for her to be over there. I apologize for my recent inactivity. I've actually been doing a whole lot of experimentation with some new training methods and it's been going really well. It's been a really cool journey and I can't wait to share it with you soon. Prim is a lot more comfortable in the front of the field where we are right here than she is in the back field where we're going, which is, you can see, way back there. That's where she's less comfortable and right here is where she's more comfortable. And basically what she's been doing is whenever we head in that direction, she just starts balking and head tossing and stuff like that. And she'll go back there if I like force her to go back there, but I want to make it so I'm not just like kicking her until she gets back there. I want to make it until to, so that she actually wants to be back on the scary area and she builds up confidence and learns to trust in me. So first we're just going to stay over here in the comfort area and I'm just going to have her do some groundwork and just keep her feet moving. It doesn't have to be super hard work. It doesn't have to always be, you know, lunging, stuff like that, but I'm just going to make her move her feet and just make it a little more difficult for her to be right here. And then we're going to go into the back of the field and I'm going to make that feel really, really good. So I'm just having her run some circles around me. Walk, easy, 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 walk. And bring it back down to a walk. Just a whole lot of transitions. Let's throw a direction change in there. her back up a little and this is my horse that struggles with locking stifles so we're going to be doing some of our stifle exercises too over here heel behind so now that we've done some groundwork over there we're going to walk over to the back of the field where she's more uncomfortable and basically what i'm going to be doing the whole time is i'm just going to be watching her and i'm going to look for signs of any anxiety, ears forward, she stops paying attention to me, hey, back up, stuff like that, and she was getting a little ahead of me there, so she was getting a little unfocused, and so I'm just going to bring her focus back, and we're going to keep going. Here in the more scary area, um, I'm just going to let her take a rest and just stand for a few minutes and I'm just gonna wait for a change now she actually does not look super anxious right here and she's really not but I could tell on the way walking up here there were times when she became very inattentive she was like oh what's going on over there what's going on over here um, and so basically my goal is just to make this feel really good and what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna just like go on autopilot and say okay like you can do whatever you want because I'm gonna keep her focused on me but I'm gonna make it feel good to stand here and focus on me so this is where our treats are going to come in. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to give her a couple treats and just make it feel very good to be standing over here. Good girl, Penny. Just give her some pets. Just make it feel really good to be over here. You can see she's licking and chewing right there. That's very good. That's a sign of a release. So now we're heading back and basically the whole time heading back, I'm just going to keep her not going on autopilot. I'm going to keep her 
feet moving, I'm gonna keep her focused on me. So right here, I'm just gonna stop and ask her to back up. And we're gonna go a couple steps again. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna ask her to yield behind. I'm gonna trot a little bit. Yield behind. We're gonna walk back over to the scary area. And once again, going down there, I'm gonna keep her, make sure she's focused on me. Let's get her backing up a little bit. She's getting forward. And she's giving me a good looking shoe right here. So now we're back in the scary area. We're actually even deeper into the scary area than we were before. And you could already see she's sighing. She's releasing because I took her over there away from the scary area and I just asked her to work. And now we're here and I'm letting, it, letting her relax, letting it feel very good. And now I'm gonna give her some more treats. Good girl. And if they start to get mouthy, you can do this thing where you can do like a finger spur. So just kind of hold your finger out and let them run into it. So it's like when they get mouthy with you, when they start turning into you, waiting for that tree when you don't have it, you're not asking for it. Just let them kind of run into their own pressure there. So I didn't get this specific part of video, but what we just did is we repeated the process that we showed you um, for the first two times, except instead of going like all the way down into the middle of the field, we actually just went about, I would say about just a little bit past that tree right there. So each time, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep repeating the process, but each time we repeat it, we're gonna make the work area a little bit closer and closer to the scary area so that we just get the horse more acquainted with being out of their comfort zone, but yet the original scary area, so to speak, is always going to be the comfort place. And oftentimes something else I like to do is I'll just like to kind of walk around the whole scary area, like this whole area right here. I'll just kind of walk around it and we'll st I'll stop, have her back up a little bit, and then just give her more treats and just make the whole area feel, you know, like a nice, safe home. And really, poor, really important that you want to note about this exercise is that what we're not doing is we're not just coming back here and letting our horses step all over us. What we're doing is we're keeping them focused on us. I'm keeping her focused on me while making it feel good and giving her treats. So there have been a couple times when she's gotten a little bit like, like I said before, a little mouthy and a little bit like, oh, I want to get in your space so I can have more treats. And basically what I do when she does that is I'll just, I don't freak out over it, I'll just back her up a little bit. See if she takes a step towards me, we'll back her a step. Whenever you're in a situation like this where you're taking your horse to a place where they're uncertain, it's really important that, yes, you should be your horse's friend, but you should also still be your horse's leader all the time because if you're not a confident leader, if you're not the alpha to them, they're not going to have any reason to trust you, no matter how many treats you give them. So Prim is super relaxed here. You can see she's licking and chewing and sighing. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to take her back down to the front of the field, get my helmet on, and I'm going to ride her. And we're going to do the same exercise, but in the saddle. And hopefully we will see a major change based on what we've done in our groundwork. We're coming down to the front of the field and I'm kind of putting the fire on again, so to speak, just making sure she knows that this is not the nice area anymore. The nice area is down there. Basically, we're gonna start out down in the area where she likes to be, and I'm just gonna have her do some work the fire on a little bit, make her move her feet. Now we're going to head out towards the unpleasant area and I'm literally just going to take off all the pressure and just let her do whatever. 
and rest and I'm just gonna let her release all her tension and here comes the treat Primmy oh good girl good girl and I can already tell a difference because last week I tried to ride her back here and she did not even want to step over this little divot right there like she stepped over it and then she was like no we're going back not comfortable back here but now she literally i made her work down there sent her up this way and she ran like she full-on like working trot all the way down to the what was once the scary area very proud of her put her rest again give her some more trees i actually try to shake up which side i give it to her on just so she can get some bending exercise in both ways and not you know expect it to be on the same side every time so that she's always trying to like bite my boot or something like that i'm gonna keep her guessing good girl so i don't have this on video but i got down um when we went over there so we were over here in the scary area we walked away from the scary area and i kind of gave her a choice to turn either back towards the comfort area or towards the scary area and she literally like trotted over to the scary area so I ended it there because that's I knew right then we that we'd done something good so thanks so much for watching um, if you have any questions include them in the comments below um, happy riding